everyone, in this series we're looking at how to add inputs into a vMix production. An input is any element that you want to include into your vMix production, for example, cameras, videos, NDI inputs, and audio. In this video, we're looking at images. vMix allows you to input images and graphics into your production. vMix supports PNG, JPEGs, TIFF, or BMP formats for images. Images can then be used in your production as full screen images, or overlays, or any way you want to manipulate that within your vMix production. Okay, so to add an image input into vMix, just go down to the add input menu in the bottom left, and then select image from the left menu. Then browse for your image, click open, and then okay. vMix will load up your image and you can start using it as an input. Now you can use your image just like any other input in vMix. You can click on the cog icon to open up the settings. Now here you can change all of your settings such as the name, aspect ratio, category, you can choose to sharpen or mirror, uh, the mouse click action. Now underneath that, down the bottom here, you'll have the input behaviors. So automatically play, restart, those things don't apply because it's just static content when it comes to an image. Now on the left hand menu, you'll see things like color adjust. And so you can adjust the color and manipulate the image like you would on any other input. You can change the coloring, you can change the alpha, those sorts of things. Um, you can also use the color key, which is a chroma key, which is in one of our other tutorial videos. And you can also you know, change the position of the photo if you wanted to. So you can move it around um, by selecting it down here. You can hold shift down and stretch it like this to manipulate the image. Um, you can also use these sliders up here and then reset them. We have some tutorial videos about these that you can see on our YouTube tutorial playlist. So if you wanna check those out. So there's other one here, multi-view triggers, all those are covered in other tutorials. So we'll just go back to general and we'll close it down by pressing X. So if you press X, that will allow you to save all the settings. Okay, so now we have our image ready to go in our production. Just like any other input, I can transition into the uh, output and I can bring it up into preview. So you can use it like any other input. Okay, so I can also add images as overlays. So as I've got here, I've got a, an image with an alpha background and I can just overlay that over the top. Um, if that's too big, I can go to the settings and I can go to the position section and then I can move it around. I can hold down shift and drag inwards and I can put it in the top right hand corner. I can even crop it by dragging these. So if I wanted to get rid of any mix, I could drag that in like that and then close that down. So now I've got that as an image overlay. Now you can add images of any size to vMix. Um, if you're wanting to use a full screen image though, it's best to create an image that's gonna match the resolution of your production as something lower will appear blurry. Now, when we create our full size images for our vMix Funtime Live Show like this one, we make sure that it's 1920 by 1080. So when you wanna use an overlay, you could even create a full HD size image, but only have a logo in the top left-hand corner as the overlay. So as you can see, I've added an input that has a full HD image, and it's only got content in the top left-hand corner. So if I overlay this, you'll notice that it's just going to overlay in that specific position. Now naturally you can upload logos and images that you wanna overlay and then resize them however you like with the overlay channels or um, with the positioning. But this is just a quick way to create a full size HD image and have it all ready to go. So another cool feature in vMix is the fact that you can live edit an image in a program, save it, and those changes will appear in your vMix production. So if I, um, let's just bring this one over here. So. I can edit this, I'm gonna edit this right now. I'm just gonna write hello. And then I'm gonna save the image in my editing program and that's gonna automatically change in vMix. So it's always going to be referencing any changes made to that particular image, which is a cool feature. Another great feature is being able to add multiple files at one time. So if I open up a folder, I can drag and drop them individually or I can grab multiple ones at a time and then drag them in like so. And then I can go through and edit them like I normally would. If you wanna create a slideshow of images from a folder, there's another tutorial about photos and that will show you how to create a slideshow from multiple images. So keep your eye out for that one. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching. <laughs>